Guys, I really like the way this looks. This is so cool. Okay. This is what we're doing today, by the way. As you can see, this dwarfs the 40. So this is this is uh, the item we're doing today. It's from MM Studio. It's the class 0413, uh, based off of the older board, which is, oh, what's the model number? It's from Cherry. Uh, what is it again? I've written down G80 0413. This particular unit though, might have some changes when it gets to the final, I guess, stage of what they're gonna be doing with this. I do think this looks really cool. So if we look at it from the side view here, I think this looks awesome. It definitely pays a lot of homage to like the, or homage to the actual board itself. Um, as you guys can see from this angle, also has a really awesome badge that you can screw into. So this is really cool. And then they also have a knob here on the side. My camera wants to focus as well as a side USB. And I'll show you guys how this works. Now I do think this received a lot of criticism in their discord um, being the side USB. It's also a semi-permanent USB, which I think, I think isn't really great when it comes to custom keyboards. Um, so from what I understand, they're going to be changing that to the middle of the board, which I mean, I would personally prefer. I know that this is probably a little bit more accurate to the, uh, what's it called? Um, actual version, but I think I just prefer this. But yeah, other than that, pretty cool. I will say it is pretty cool. I do think the board looks awesome. In terms of pricing, it's also not that aggressive in pricing either. It's 360 without a plate, and then you can pick a plate, which is either copper or brass or PC and alu, and it'll go up about 30 bucks for the PC and alu or 50. So we're looking at a price point of about 390, uh, which is pretty awesome. I don't know, here's what I don't know. I don't know if the base kit comes with the buzzer and solenoid because they have extras, list it on this, but I don't know if the base comes with everything. Um, but other than that, I think this project looks awesome. I think this is probably one of the best colors too. Uh, for this much material, pretty good. I agree. Now, I'm a little confused on the plate they sent me. So they have aluminum listed, but for whatever reason, the plate they sent me reminds me of a stainless steel like a stainless steel plate. And I didn't get confirmation on this and they're not even offering steel. I don't even know if this is offered in their offerings and I don't know how good of a, dude, Lotus would look good on this obscure. I don't know how good of an example this will be. If this is brushed aluminum, this feels heavy for brushed aluminum. Like this feels like chunky and this feels more like a steel to me. I have no idea to be honest. It, it feels like steel to me. So I couldn't give you guys, an, a, a, unfortunately, a good answer here. And I I don't know how indicative of this, uh, this will be of the final product. Because again, if this is steel, this is going to sound very different from aluminum. Probably might sound closer to brass though. Brass and copper. Here's our PCB. I'm, I am very glad, by the way, they went with a green PCB here. I think that is the best choice possible. Look how beautiful this is. MM Studio, a lot of options on this guy. The plate also has a lot of options. Mm. This is giving me a good vibe already. In terms of what layout I want to build for this today, by the way, I'm loving this case. Loving this thing, by the way. Um, this is very cool. I'm thinking we do short right shift. Are you guys opposed to short right shift? Yeah, I think short right shift is the answer today. I don't know if we do that for an FRL 1800. Is this considered 1800 or would you consider this a full? I think this is more of like an 1800 or would this be more of like a 65 numpad extended? What's the layout technically for this? It's such a unique layout. I think this board's awesome by the way. They have some amazing color choices um, that they're offering too. So very much vibing with this by the way, very much vibing with this. FRL 1800 extended. Now I'm not too, too familiar with vintage boards, by the way. We're just gonna have fun with this and hope for the best. Okay, they did send over some foam and high key, I do wanna use foam. Are you guys okay with me using plate foam for this? 
foams are my favorite builds. I kind of want to put a little foam here because I feel like the I feel like this is a stainless steel plate. And I do feel like this will be a little bit resonant. So a little foam never hurts. I like using some foam every now and then, but we won't use this stuff. Heavy tactiles and aluminum plate. I tried a couple of configs that seems to work best. Oh, that's a good advice. Thank you, L7. Yeah, I'll definitely take a look at that. Yeah, it should be up on my list to do soon-ish. Seems a little bit off. All right. By the way, we are using some HMX switches today. These are HMX Jammy Linears. Um, HMX cheese switches sound great. I'm, I'm hoping they do another run of those. I think they will. These look like really cool switches too. I'm kind of excited to try these guys. Now again, pretty positive this is stainless steel, which isn't on their offering list. I don't know why they sent me over if this is stainless steel. If this is for some re reason brushed aluminum, this is kind of heavy for brushed alu, um, which again, I still think this is stainless. I do not think this is alu. These are, uh, HMX switches. They are the uh, jammy linears. Screws, feet, solenoid, or, above, or solenoid there, and then we, what is this? Oh, I guess we could have built today plateless. We could have done plateless today, but it's okay. We're gonna do no plateless today. This will probably sound insane, um, plateless, by the way. Hold on, I dropped a clear gasket of some sort. I don't even know what these are for. You know, if this does not sound great with the plate, I really wanna try this plateless though. Um, The tabs over here. There's tabs on the side here. I wonder though, can you technically mount this with Hope gaskets you have a fantastic and a plate? Lunar New Year weekend. Perhaps you could. So perhaps I don't do top mount for this. Thank you so much, Sporky. Thank you so much for the tier three, man. Holy crap. Whoa. Look at these internals. All right. Whoa, there is a lot of stuff in here. So we have, we actually need to kind of fix our USB cable. And the way they make you do that, there is, I believe, a piece underneath this that you have to pass the cable through. Let's take a bunch of this off for now, and then we can go from there. But let's unscrew a whole bunch here. Let's take this apart. Oh, do they even want you to take this apart? I guess I don't really have to. Okay, let me put this back. I see how to take it apart now. You have to unscrew. There's another screw here at the bottom, but I see what they want you to do. Never mind. For some reason, I didn't even see this uh, here. I'll show you guys what I what I mean. So what they want you to do is they want you to put the USB-C cable in. For some reason, I didn't even realize there was like a larger hole here, but I, I thought you just kind of slot it in, which actually I still need to take this part out. So let's just take this, this little locking mechanism. This is the only thing you actually need to remove is this little lock. This little piece here to kind of lock the cable in place and I'll show you guys what this looks like. Now, I don't think this is gonna be on the final rendition of the board because I think a right aligned USB cable is kind of, um, what's, a, what's a good word to use here? It's a, it's a little ridiculous. So uh, a little, little space consuming for your desk and right side usually has your mouse. So I feel like that's not the best of choices. I am glad that I, I'm pretty positive they're gonna be swapping that out for a middle, what they said. It's because the board is based, yeah, it, it, the board is based on it. However, I just don't think it's like a good design to port over into like a board that, you know, is based on it. I, I think that's like something you should, probably should leave behind. You know what, screw it. Let's fully commit guys. <laughs> Let's fully commit to this. It means I have to use this this keyboard, by the way. We are fully committing. Send it. Uh, this is literally the best keyboard for left hand. Yeah, it truly is. It's a, it's a pretty decent keyboard for left-handed people for sure. Screen back that little lock here on the bottom. And the cable is now locked in place. All right, now I think I still can probably use the gaskets alongside this. So I would like to use the gaskets. So I don't know if I want to do stainless steel top mount but I still want a plate in here. I think that would sound cool. And again, if I end up hating this sound signature, I'm gonna desolder this. Maybe not today, probably not today. Now this is a little weird. They have the cable. Why wouldn't they put this port flush with this so the cable doesn't have to do one of these? A little, little awkward there. I don't know if I fully agree with that. Oh. You guys hear me pressing the key? Please, I just need to plug you in and I can't unplug you. Oh my God, hold on guys. 
I forgot this was plugged into my USB-C cable. I forgot, dude. I know I'm removing the limo right now. Professional streamer. Hey, you know what? I have never done a cable like this before. Dude, this, uh, do you not like the fact that it's facing this way? All right, this is done. Put the top frame back on. This is already looking so cool. Okay, hear me out. Okay, this is the keyboard, by the way. We're done the keyboard. Take a look at it. Little knob here on the side. Got our fixed cable, which again, I don't think this is gonna end up staying on the final rendition, but this thing looks sick. Side profile is just literally a honking wedge over here. I have to put the feet on, which I'm gonna do now. I have another one of these orange cables, so I might actually just leave this cable connected for the time being. Now this I don't like. There's an adhesive foot that covers all this stuff, which means that if you did want to swap this out, this adhesive foot is here, which is a little annoying, and it's not even the right size that the adhesive slots into it nice, so that is something I think needs to change. Um, I received this in a giant box. Now, I think the final unit will probably have a bag, but I, my prototype came in like a like not that nice looking box. It was pretty beat up. So my two changes, my two recommendations is feet. Do not want to put ever an adhesive feet over screws where you need to peel this back to get to. I think that is ridiculous. Um, and then also, even if they had some sort of option to put a cable somewhere else, I think that would also be well appreciated. Hear me out guys. This thing looks like a beast. Hear me out, DMG. That is my choice for today. DMG. I think this would look nice with DMG on it. I totally think, yes, a beige set would look probably absolutely insane on this. Sorry, the inside's really bad. I know, I just kind of threw keycaps back in here, but. Wow, I'm gonna move this over if you guys don't mind. Uh, let me see if there's a, a key layout for how to turn on the solenoid. I'm not too sure guys, I'm so sorry. I will DM them and yeah, this one I put in properly at the end there. But look how sick this keyboard looks. Okay, ignore this solenoid thing. We're not gonna stress too much about it. Guys, I really like the way this looks. This is so fucking cool. All right, all right, where can I get one? I mean, um, I think the Oh man, when is the sale even starting for this? I don't even think they have a sale date because this is still technically a prototype and they haven't finished some of the IC stuff yet. I don't think there's a date for this yet, but if you guys want it to, check out their Discord. You'll probably have more information there for MM Studio. But let's see what this sounds like. We did the plate with the gasket. Um, this also has top mount configured um, to it as well. So you could do top mount, but it's top mount compatible, gasket, plateless if you wanted to. They have a wide selection of plates, which is awesome. This starts at around $390. I don't know, this thing looks really cool. They are, I, I hope, changing the side cable over here, although it's not too distracting now that we've put it together. I don't absolutely hate this. Like, I don't mind this now that it's here. This is also extremely heavy, by the way. Uh, but let's see what this sounds like. We are using HMX jammy switches, the plate that came with this, and plate foam. No desk pad to start, and then I'll quickly grab a desk pad. With the desk, it's very deep. But here, let me uh, let me get a desk pad to see what this sounds like on a desk pad. Let's see what this sounds like with the desk pad now. It's definitely bright. I do feel like this sounds really good without the desk pad. I think this would sound insane without the plate. 
So I am going to desolder this, and I think I will rebuild this without a plate. However, I actually really like this with the plate too, but I think it could be better. I don't mind this at all, by the way. Kind of has like an old school charm of this sound, maybe just this particular config. And then if we really want to see that without the dust pad again, let's take out the dust pad for a hot second. I did put some foam, yes, the plate foam in here. I like this. I'm into it. 390 price tag. Let's take a quick little peek at some of the the other sides of this. Hold on, let me turn back on the music here. So there we go. That's one side of this. Here is the back side. This is nice, man. Here is the side profile with the cable on it. I really like this. I'm gonna talk to MM Studios about what's changing exactly over here. Um, Cause it'd be nice to see. Total weight, again, I would probably say close to what? 10 plus pounds at this point. So yeah, just a quick little tidbit of info for this. There's a bunch of colors on the, the IC page if you wanna see. There's a black and yellow one that I think looks absolutely dope. But it does look like there's gonna be some changes with this. I'll keep you guys in the, in the loop of what's actually happening but it does seem to start at 390. I don't know why they're pricing the board without the plate. Uh, they should just price it with a standard plate, but and then just do like a $20 upgrade or something makes it simpler to understand, but it's a 360 without the plate. I, actually, sorry, I guess you could technically go plateless. That's probably why they're doing it without a plate um, in case you just want to go the plateless route. So it starts at technically 360, uh, that is my mistake there, or $30 with a, with a plate. But I'm assuming you'd probably want a plate to take advantage of using a top mount as well, if you want it to. But yeah, 360 plateless, 3, 390 with the plate. Not bad. Honestly, not bad for this product. project. I think uh, this is pretty awesome. Bye everybody, see ya and take care. With the desk, it's very 